All right, good morning, everyone. Louis Porcelino, Man Over Market, and this is the ES morning call and market call for February 27th, 2015. All right, no, not much action overnight. we are got numbers this morning. Uh, these are all central standard time GDP. Be a big number. Chicago PMI, consumer sentiment. We got pending home sales at nine and consumer sentiment at nine, and um, farm payroll prices at 2 p.m. For fan prices. All right. Anyway, um, so I think the market has um, kind of topped out here, and I think that uh, you know for the first time in a while we've got a negative bias. So we're looking at uh, uh, the market having a a better, greater chance of closing lower than when it opened today. So uh, overnight we've got uh, 2109 uh, half basically is the high, low is uh, 2105 quarter. Uh, this is uh, yesterday's low, uh, what we were looking for, that 21.05, 21.05. This is not finished to me. Now I'm going to go back start looking for some single prints down here. But uh, I think the market's going to retrace, uh, and we need a retracement. You see all these low volume er areas, and uh, we need to get back in these areas and retrace. Um, if you take a look at the profile from... Uh, it should be so this is an important remember we told you the SPX does the SPX cash has gone to a buy finally so uh, you know just because it's in a buy doesn't mean that there won't be days that we can't retrace um, but the, the long-term trend is now up so uh, hopefully I can get the day profile up that's what I'm looking for this should be it all right so uh, we had a, the mode close higher we had two e equal closes. now the mode is closed lower all right, and the higher the value area high is lower, and the value area low is lower. This is a day profile. You got the 23 day average at uh, mode at 2093. Okay, so I, I ultimately think the market's going to break down in this area, back down in this area. Not today, but we got this gap over here at the 2071, uh, 2072, basically to 2069. I think that that's got to fill in that gap. So um, I got a negative bias on the day. We'll see what happens when the numbers come out. Um, we've got, uh, when we take a look at, all right, we got the top of value at 210.75. We got the bull bear zone at 210. Point of control is 2109 and a quarter, 2109 and a quarter, and the volume and value of 2105 quarter, 2105 quarter. I'd be looking to sell rallies today because I think the market is going to correct on that. Okay. All right. Let's bring in gold. Gold, we've got a negative bias on gold. Okay. Here you see the negative bias. Um, gold will be, we've got the top of value at 2120, or I'm sorry, 1212 and 40 cents. We got 1,220 as the uh, bull bear zone, 1,208.70 is a point of control, and 1,207.80. All right, negative bias here, negative bias, and uh, I think uh, the market is going down. All right, and then oil, we've had a negative bias for the last two days, and, and I know we called that rally, but uh on thursday or i mean on wednesday but i mean it just suckered every several oh, i'm sorry here's here's bonds let me bring in the bonds first uh bonds we have a positive bias okay and uh you know here's rollover we moved to the the front month is what what's the front month in bonds now is it june okay so we're, we're trading june bonds top of value is 162.18 162.12 is uh, going to be the uh, point of control. One, all right. And then we got uh, 161.08. And then we have down here, we have, that's where we've got the bull bear zone at um, 161.23 uh, is the bull bear zone. So uh, that's what we're looking for. That's up here. Uh, for some reason, it didn't print right. So 161. Uh, 23 is the bull bear zone, and we've got a positive bias on gold, positive, I'm sorry, on bonds. I think bonds are still heading up, okay? Um, and 
if we get any sort of correction in the market, I think they'll really head up. So uh, that's what I've got going on with uh, bonds. And then we'll bring our oil in. There's the oil chart. All right, so now we've had a negative bias on oil. Today we are great. That means we don't have we don't have a, uh, an opinion one way or the other. I think after all the volatility the last two days, the oil is probably going to be a two-sided trade. We got the bull bear zone here at forty-eight seventy-five. Okay, and we've got uh, forty-eight eighty-seven is the bottom of value. Forty-eight ninety is the uh, point of control, and forty-nine nine forty-nine point thirty-three. So they're going to get a two-sided trade, negative, negative, uh, I mean, not a negative, but a, a neutral bias on um, on gold. The intermediate trend is still down, but uh, right now we've got a neutral bias on gold, I mean, on oil, 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 sorry. All right, just recapping, again, we got uh, GDP, which I think will be, could move the market uh, on at 7.30, so you're going to get this afterwards. Uh, bull bear zone 210, top of value 21075. All right, I think the market is overdone and it needs a retracement. And we've got a negative bias on SPs, which I didn't switch, but I should switch it. So we have a negative bias on SPs. All right, all right, everybody, have a good day and we'll talk to you soon. And remember, go, you can get all this stuff on manovermarket.com and follow us on Twitter uh, at manovermarket and Twitter. All right, everybody have a good day. Make some do-re-mi. Talk to you later. Bye.